If you're planning on developing a new hardware product, then in this video, I'm going to share with you one of the most critical early steps that you need to take in order to have a realistic chance of getting your product developed, manufactured, and on the market. That step is to simplify your product without compromising on the key features that your customers require. Complexity can be the death of a hardware startup, especially a startup with a small or solo founder team and limited capital. Until you've gone through this full cycle of developing a product and bringing it to market, it's really hard to have a realistic appreciation for how complex the whole process is. And that's with a relatively simple product. If you are developing a really complex product, then you have magnified everything. You've magnified your development costs. You've magnified your development time. You've magnified how long it takes to get to market, not to mention your increased manufacturing costs. Most importantly, you have magnified your risk because developing a more complex product has a lot more risk than developing a simpler version of that product. Product simplification is an important aspect of the minimum viable product or MVP concept that you've likely heard of. This approach entails looking at your product from the perspective of your customer to figure out what product features are most crucial. You want to go forward with the minimum feature set required to sort solve the core problem of your customer. Product simplification is similar and entails identifying which of your product features are the most complex to develop and eventually manufacture. Hi, I'm John Teal. I'm an electrical engineer who brought my own product to market that was sold in hundreds of retail stores. And I'm now the founder of Predictable Designs, which is all about helping hardware entrepreneurs succeed with their new product. Okay, let's now expand on these concepts with a few examples that I'm gonna share with you from entrepreneurs in my hardware academy and these are members who have saved a lot of time and money by simplifying their products one example is a member who was a very smart guy and he had a very strong technical background you could really tell he'd spent a lot of time specifying in great detail everything about his product including the fee all the features that he wanted it to have he understood a lot of the technical complexities but he was not really an engineer, and more importantly, he had not gone through this whole cycle of bringing a product to market before. This made him unaware of all the issues and complexities of one particular product feature he had specified for his product. The product itself was fairly simple, but it was using a wireless charger to charge a lithium ion battery. And that, that wireless charger would also need to be custom developed. This magnified the complexity of the product tremendously. He also wanted a pretty complicated wireless charger that included motors to align the device being charged. For wireless charging, you need to have two coils aligned together to be able to transfer the power wirelessly. These motors further complicated his design since mechanical parts are difficult to get right and are prone to failure. So now this entrepreneur is developing not one, but two products. He's developing his core product and now also a custom wireless charger. If you think developing one hardware product and getting it to market is complicated, then try doing two at the same time. You may see this as only one product because it solves a single solution and you're going to sell it all together like a, a product and a charger but from a product development standpoint, they are two entirely separate products. If you have two separate products, you can expect your cost to at least double. In this case, adding the wireless charging feature was going to probably triple the cost because the wireless charging device that included motors was about twice as complex as his core product was. This entrepreneur ended up presenting his product in the academy to get feedback from myself and the other experts that are in there. And the immediate feedback was you were adding a lot of complexity by having this wireless charging function. Do you really, really need it? There were probably half a dozen different suggestions made to him on a much more feasible way of implementing the charging. Once all the information was presented to him, he realized that the wireless charging route was not the way to go. Because of this product simplification, he is saving massive amounts of money every step of the way. 
at first by only having to develop a single printed circuit board and a single product enclosure. Then he is saving likely thousands more because he now only has one PCB and one enclosure to prototype. Fast forward past proto the prototyping stage and this entrepreneur is saving money on his electrical certifications and the production of molds. Certifications and molds cost tens of thousands of dollars, so eliminating half of them has a huge impact on your cost. With a few suggestions, we were able to simplify his product development. The end result is a product that solves the intended problem for customers just as well as his original idea. But by eliminating the need for a custom charger without motors and moving parts, these suggestions saved him probably at least $50,000 to $100,000 in the long run. Another example that I want to share with you, and this member had a streaming video product. He came into the academy wanting resolutions of 1080p, and he wanted to stream this over a cellular protocol. Immediately, I explained that 1080p video was definitely doable, but it would be orders of magnitude more complicated than choosing just 720p HD video. The main reason is the data throughput speeds required for 1080p are much higher than 720p. That requires you migrate from a microcontroller solution to a much more complex but faster microprocessor solution. Some high performance microcontrollers are capable of supporting 720p streaming HD video. However, there are no microcontrollers with the processing speed required to process 1080p high definition video. And a microprocessor drastically complicates your design compared to a microcontroller. In fact, they tend to be so complex that a microprocessor module should be used instead of trying to fully design a microprocessor system from scratch. Also, both microprocessor chips and modules tend to be several times more expensive than a high-speed microcontroller. That is going to really impact your profit margins. Deciding to go down to 720p video not only made his product several times cheaper to develop, but it also drastically reduced the final product cost. The two cases I've given are electrical simplifications, but me mechanical simplifications can be just as important. I see examples like these all the time in the Hardware Academy. In fact, I've started to encourage any new member that joins to immediately share their product idea so that they can get feedback on ways specifically to simplify the product. These may be feature changes like getting rid of the wireless charger, but they also may be implementation suggestions like using a microprocessor module instead of a custom microprocessor circuit or using a pre-certified wireless module instead of a custom wireless circuit. There are lots of similar suggestions that can drastically simplify the journey to market if you do them up front. The return on investment on any product simplification is going to be astronomical. I mean, you can hire a lot of engineering consultants or be a member of my academy for a very long time for $50,000, which is at the bare minimum, what the member saved that was developing the product with the wireless charger. So do not be too frugal at the beginning of your journey because this is where small decisions can make big impacts and save you massive amounts of money. Do not neglect to spend the time up front to simplify your product. You need to understand the core needs of your customer and the relative technical complexities of every desired feature. If you can make your product as simple as possible, you will get your product to market much faster and cheaper. Hey there, this is John Teal, founder of Predictable Designs. If you enjoyed this video and you want to keep learning more about developing, manufacturing, and selling new hardware products, then be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check out the websites predictabledesigns.com and thehardwareacademy.com.